Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing my Watt Sold for last week, Monday through Thursday, which is June 19th through the 22nd. And it was an okay week. This week has been amazing, but this is kind of at the end of what I figured something happened on eBay and we just weren't getting views. I couldn't do searches properly. It was just kind of a, a wash, but you know, it is what it is and we keep on going and I have had an amazing week. This Monday through Thursday so far has been great. So no complaints here. Couple of things before we get started. If you're new to my channel, my name is Rebel. It is my birth given name and I've been selling on eBay for 24 years. We are in our second year of doing these YouTube videos. Just trying to you know, make people more aware that you can sell, you know, primarily plush and make a living. And that's what we do. But we do sell in other categories. I think at one point Robert said, like 60% of my inventory I think is plush. So, and I have, I'm getting I'm close. I'm almost to 11,000 listings. But we do, we did start selling clothes in the last couple of years. And we do buy a lot of vintage stuff. So, um, also some of the things to keep in mind, um, I don't do free shipping. So when I say something sold for this certain amount, then the buyer has paid extra for shipping. I do flat rate for anything under a pound and calculated for over a pound. I know there's a whole lot of angst right now about this new postal change. My thoughts on it, let's just wait till July 9th see what happens. You know, I've read posts where people are saying, we've got to change everything. I've read posts where people say, eBay's going to change the first class and parcel select to the new ground advantage or whatever. I'm just going to wait. Um, I'll wake up on the 9th and try to figure out what I need to do to fix my listings. If I figure out something before then, I will let you guys know. But, you know, 24 years at this, it, you know, you just, you go with the flow with eBay, you know, this isn't an eBay thing. This is a post office thing. Based on, I, I saw a tentative chart. It doesn't look like the prices as far as first class is really changing very much. I think there might be certain levels that were, but, you know, I checked the, the, cheapest shipping four ounce to the most expensive shipping um to california for me and it was about the same as i am charging right now and what i'm being charged so i'm not going to worry about it too much you know it is what it is we'll fix it when it happens but otherwise you know it's just i'm keeping doing what i'm doing you know do the things that you can control run sales, end and sell similar. I do it every day, um, three to 400 listings a day. Um, do promoted listings at whatever level you're comfortable with. Somebody asked me recently what I promote at, and I promote at suggested plus one with a max of 8%. So if the trending rate is five percent i've got the plus one so mine would be at six percent but it never goes more than eight percent and i haven't checked recently to see how many of my cells are promoted versus not promoted but the last time i checked it was about i want to say 70 percent i do pay the extra fees but you know it's all part of business it's just all part of business so you got to do what is best for your business plan and I'm comfortable paying the extra fees to get my stuff moving. All right. Oh, Flipcon. We're going to be at Flipcon. And so Robert's tentatively thinking right now we're scheduled to be there, you know, like everybody else. It's I think Wednesday through Friday, but we're thinking we're not far from there about two and a half, three hours, I think. We're thinking about coming down Tuesday. So if anybody else is going to be in that area, even if you're not coming to FlipCon, let us know. You know, we may go ahead and come on Tuesday and maybe we can all get together get together for dinner. 
I think we plan on hitting Asheville Bends on the way down, whichever day we decide to go. And our friends, the tea and pickers, are going to be with us. So I'm so looking forward to the break, to spending time with my friends, and, you know, meeting other people who do what we do. All right, let's get to this. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I had sales on all four of my platforms. Um, I do list primarily on eBay. Everything starts there. And then I pick and choose listings that go to Mercari, Poshmark, and Etsy. I use List Perfectly. I love that program. I think it works the best of all the ones that I've tried. Um, but as far as Etsy, I'm kind of contemplating not continuing with it. We'll see because I did have two decent sales. I have fixed it so that none of my old listings are renewing on there. So I have about 200 ended. I I'm going to leave them there. Maybe fourth quarter, I might go ahead and pay the 20 cents each to um, get them renewed through fourth quarter and then decide after that if it's going to be worth um, continuing with it because I don't have a whole lot of listings there and I don't make a whole lot of sales there. And it's just that 20 cents up front, even though it's for four months, it just kind of, I, I, I wish they would just charge, you know, a fee, just charge a store fee or something. I don't know. Anybody else feel that way? All right. Mercari, two sales to share with you. First is Jelly Cat. Love Jelly Cat. We picked up a bunch this last time we went to the St. Louis Bins. Well, not we. Robert found most of them. Um, and I, I'm still, every once in a while, bringing a bag over here and I'll find another one. In fact, I've got one on the couch right now that's um, finishing up its spa day. But this Jelly Cat is just one of the Bashful Bunnies. Sold for $16 on an offer. And then this, this, I kind of mentioned this in a previous video. This person sent me a message after she received it. Initially, she sent me a message asking, did this rabbit have a seam down its belly? So I went and pulled it and it did, you know, it was sewn through the belly. And she said she thought it was one that she had had as a child and was hoping that it was. Um, and it was. She sent me a beautiful thank you message saying that she was just thrilled to have this. And I took a best offer on it of $28. Now, speaking of that, I, um, this month, all of June, every time I did an end and sell similar, anything that was listed before January, we put a code on the custom SKU and I marked everything down 10%. Um, and so now I'm done. It's the end of the month. I've done everything that was my old listings, mark them down 10%. And then I've been very um, good about sending offers that are at a point where I think it's, you know, too good to be true almost because I really just want to get some of this older stuff moving. So any, you know, most of you realize when I source, I source cheap. A lot of this is bin stuff um, or yard sales where I pay a dollar or less for many things. You know, I make exceptions when I'm at estate sales and stuff, but for the most part, I source very cheaply. So if I'm selling something for $8, $10, $12, I'm good with that, especially when I know now all of this old stuff is moving. Um, so far this month, it's been over 200 items that I have sold that were listed before January, probably some of it for years. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave my listings alone through the fourth quarter. And then in January, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to reduce them again by 10% and again, start anytime I get a reasonable offer, I'm going to go ahead and accept it. And I'm sending out, you know, offers that are 10 and 20% less because at this point it has sat in my store too long. It just needs to go recoup my money, make some profit, start buying more stuff. So. All right. A couple of sales on Poshmark. This is a Carter's sweet little one elephant lovey sold for $16. So those of you that aren't selling toys on Poshmark, you might want to give it a consideration. Um, I do okay on there. I don't sell a lot 
but I do sell. And then this was a Franciscan Discovery Interpace Sugar and Cream Set. Um, you can even see on the spout there, there was a chip on the, sh the creamer. I'm um, still sold for $15 on Posh. My two Etsy sales. This was from the Private Pick Estate Sale. I bought a ton of plush at this Private Pick. A lot of them still had their paper tags. Um, this was a um, Stuart Little 7-inch plush from 2002. Sold for $24.95. And then this. You guys need to watch for these. I see them all the time. Um, this particular one is a Poder clown musical plush their head and bodies are like um, styrofoam and they're musical definitely pay attention you know a lot of times if you spin the the key all it does is this shake your heads and stuff because it's busted i don't buy those type but if the music box is working and the heads are just kind of slowly moving i do very well with them they are a little long tail you have to wait for the right buyer but I pick these up anytime I see them. And this particular one sold for $39.95 on Etsy. Now eBay. eBay is a bunch of bread and butter. And for me, bread and butter is about $8 to $12, especially when I'm sourcing at the bins and I've paid less than a dollar for stuff. I buy a lot when we're at the bins. We fill a trailer every time we go, which is usually about twice a year. This... I picked this up recently. Can't remember where. Um, this is the father from the movie, the 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 movie Dinosaurs. Um, that's with little Sinclair. I love that that show. Um, this particular figure sold for sixteen dollars and ninety five cents. So definitely keep your eyes open for them. This is um, pharmaceutical type. Advertising plush. This was American Medical Association. Um, a little St. Bernard plush 7-inch sold for $8 best offer. This is Hosung. This was one of those plush that had been listed for quite a while. It's um, just a cute chimp with pajamas on. I, I think he does have his, yeah. I see he has his little stocking cap on and a pacifier that went in his mouth. Um, I took a best offer of $14 because it was one of those that I have it coded as older and it's just time to make it go. Bengal Tiger Plush 17 inch sold for $13.55. It was very unique, but I didn't have a manufacturer or anything. Plus it did have um, some condition issues. This is Tom's Toy International kind of remind me of Kelly Toy a lot. I don't find them very often, and it's just really what it is if it's got something that's cute about it. Um, like this, I like the frosted type plush, which means, you know, it's dark on the bottom of the fur and then light on the top. I tend to pick those up when I see them, um, but I don't pick up all Tom's International. This it sold, this rabbit sold for $10.45. We just picked these up at a church sale recently. We did some footage while we were there. I picked up three of these phones. They each had different condition issues. A lot of them had teeth marks in the antenna, which is very common with these toys. You know, it's almost like a teether, um, but I've sold two of them already. This is the second one to sell. It sold for $10 best offer. This, I received a sweet message about she had this child, this toy as a baby. She said she was born in 1995 and she's got pictures of it. And it was just one of those nostalgia moments. She saw it in a picture and went looking for it. And I had it listed. It's from Kids 2. It's one of those crib plush where you pull it and it makes noise. Um, sold for $12.07. If you look at my prices, the original price down here under the 1207, if you see a price, normally I end everything 95 cents, except for clothing. If you see where I got that, where it says 1341, um, I've reduced that by 10%. And what I did was I reduced my price by 10%, but I changed the cent to one. So this is telling me this is the first round 
of me reducing these. In January, when I do this again, I'll change all of the scents to two, and we'll see how many are left. Um, and then I'll just keep doing that until it gets to a point where I'm like, all right, I give. It just needs to get donated. Here's another one that was 1521. This is Precious Moments, White Teddy Bear from 1993, sold for best offer of $12. I picked this up recently. I want to say it was maybe at the estate sale where I paid $75 for a Ikea bag just full of littles. Um, but this is How to Train Your Dragon. This dinosaur is a dinosaur. This dragon is called Whispering Death. Um, took a best offer of $14. Baby Alive. I have been finding it and selling it a lot. Um, this is just one of the small little bottles um, sold for $8.96. Disney's Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Um, again, it was been, has been listed a really long time. I don't think it's anything that I'm going to continue to pick up if I can remember. That's the problem when I'm at the bins and I'm, you know, I got to remember no more Jake. But it sold for $7, so it's gone. And it's a profit. Circo. I'll pick up most things that are Circo. Circo is Target. Um, this was just a little four inch duck plush. It was like the terry cloth um, plush, which is like a washcloth. I always tell you guys, if you see a plush that's made, that looks like a washcloth, definitely check the comps. It sold for $8.02. Kelly Toy Tan Lion Plush. Like I said, I'm taking most reasonable offers. Sold for $10. Expressions. I'm doing this with the clothing too. This is a short sleeve dress. Sold for $9. Lion King Plush. Um, wasn't in the greatest of condition. No tags. Again, it was another one of those that I had reduced already. Got an offer of $12 and went ahead and accepted it. Train Conductor Bear um, said Charles Product Inc. was the manufacturer. Sold for $20.17. Right after I had reduced the price. This is a dandy gray elephant plush, 26 inches long, sold for $16.12. And the buyer left me wonderful feedback. Um, this was another childhood toy that they had had and was so happy to replace it because the other one they had was threadbare. Now, I picked this up at that church yard sale also. I never could find her. Now, if I put that K3987, um, in a Google search, I got Dora the Explorer that looked very similar to this, but it wasn't this doll. So I'm assuming this doll was part of Dora the Explorer, um, but I just kind of picked a price point that was similar to others that were listed for the Dora, and it sold very quickly for $17.95. I think everything at the church that day, most of it I paid a dollar each. Sony micro cassettes, um, a six pack. I'll usually pick these up. I don't find them very often, but if I do, I usually will pick them up if the price is right, you know, a dollar or so. Um, these sold for $12. Levi's 505 jeans um, sold for $15.01. Toy Factory, I pick it up. It just really depends on what it is. There's a lot of character toys that are Toy Factory, um, but this was kind of cute. I love the eyes on this frog. Um, sold for best offer of $10. Coffee mugs. I pick a lot up. They are very long tail though for the most part, but you know, I have storage space for them, and if it intrigues me, I will. Usually it's the vintage, but a lot of character ones also. Um, this particular one sold for $8.02. Since. D. 
Disney, A Bug's Life. I think I've listed this recently. I'm not sure if it was out of a Ben's bag, um, but sold for $8.96. Like I said, tons of bread and butter. Animal Adventure. I find this rabbit in all kinds of colors. Pinks, blues, just cream colored, just tons of colors. I tend to pick them all up because, you know, it, they, they do sell, um, but they're, they are my bread and butter. So these sold for $8, this, this, this sold for $8 and two cent. I did it again, $8 and two cents. I just loved this bear. Um, it had this like flowery fabric on its belly, ears, feet. Um, it's by Tribora Quilt Manufacturing. I find that brand a, once in a while. Um, not very often though. It sold for $12.07. Now these teethers, I grab them at the bins. I don't normally pick them up anywhere or if they're in like a baby toy lot. Um, but, but they sell relatively quickly for me. I, I, sh I need to pick up more baby stuff. There was a time I just, I, I just didn't. And now I'm learning every time I list baby lots, they sell. These mostly were by, um, Kids True, True, um, Kids Two and Scholastics. These three sold for $16.95. Gunned White Poodle Plush. Um, I tend to put the code, if there's a code on the tag, I put the code in there because there could be another one that's 13066 and it's a different size. So I try to put the right code in there because we all measure things differently. And I'm saying this is 10 inch, but the manufacturer might have something different. Um, I always show a picture of how I got the 10 inch. So the last picture on this, nope. Let's go down further right here. That's why I picked 10 inch. So, you know, some people might measure toe to, I mean, nose to tail. I, I do height. Um, this sold for $17.95. Tupperware cake holders. Anytime you see these handles, I, I go ahead and pick them up. I had a, I bought like a bulk lot of just different Tupperware things and I divided it out. Um, I put these two cake holders, you know, the pans, the carry holders together. They did take a while to live, to sell, probably a year, um, sold for $15. Chuck E. Cheese, I just listed this. Um, that's a little birthday card holder right there that he's holding sold very quickly. It was, it had condition issues, but I still listed it and it sold very quickly, $8.05. Little Einsteins. This is one of the bathtub toys. Um, there was a, uh, Leo, the figure Leo was dressed like in a scuba diver outfit. I think when I bought it, I actually had both parts, but I split them up. Leo has already sold. Um, this Pat Pat Rocket sold for $12. It's little, like seven inches long. Animal Adventure. I like that brand. The, it's a decent quality plush and I find tons of it. This was from 2016. This little dog sold for $8.96. Like I said, lots of bread and butter. This is from Stephen Smith. I pick up a lot of stuff from them, but his most, to me, his most um, popular items are the Grateful Dead Bears. I, I find them once in a while, but not very often either. This was a honey bear. It was advertising plush for William Fisher Deli, sold for $20. Babaloo, Musical Bear Plush sold for $18. This is a little three inch plush. It is Ru Rus Russ Mookie Cow sold for $15. I love when I get those kind of surprises. This is Play Playthings Inc. 
it's a rabbit. This is the year of the rabbit. I don't think I've mentioned that recently, but if in the Chinese calendar, this is the year of the rabbit. So I sell quite a bit of rabbits. This one was from 1986. It sold for $16.12. Gans, Webkins, I always want to say Gans. Um, this was the signature series, which means it had the gold um, thread for the, the, the logo on their part of their body. Did not have a code, still sold for $8.02. These are Torrid women's shorts. They kind of had that 4th of July, you know, decor on them. Sold for $16.75. Pokemon Squirtle Turtle Plush, 6 inch, didn't have a tush tag. Probably part of the Tomy series. Sold for $8.02. This is Dandy International Elephant Plush, 11-inch, um, took a best offer of $9 for it. And I think these are my three best sales. This is Gund Mushmallows Pig Plush. I do very well with pigs. Definitely if you find a pig and it's cute or soft or something distinguishing about it, check the comps. This sold for best offer of $30. I think this is a viewer sale, so I'm just going to go ahead and thank Angela for purchasing this. Um, this is from the private pick um, vintage estate sale that we did probably a month or two ago now. Tons of wonderful vintage plush. Um, this Kenner Care Bear was actually sealed in its original bag. Um, still had the paperwork with it. Sold for $40 best offer. Black & Decker Space Maker Can Opener. That sat in a box forever because it needed to be just kind of wiped down and cleaned up a little bit. It did have all of its mounting brackets. Um, sold for $45 best offer. Some of these Space Maker type appliances do really well. Um, they used to do a whole lot better, but I think most people look for them now and just kind of the prices have gone down. I'm getting ready to go take my son to a doctor's appointment, so I'm going to just go ahead and tell you guys goodbye and get to work. Bye.